Smith. I opened up Absolute Jiu Jitsu in December of 1997. In California, I trained uh, at the Gracie Jiu Jitsu Academy with Horion and Hoist Gracie. I uh, also trained at Beverly Hills Jiu Jitsu with uh, Chris Brennan and Mark Lehman and at uh, RCJ Machado with the Machado Brothers as well. My name is Daniel Crockett. I'm 9-1 as a mixed martial arts fighter. I fight for uh, Absolute Jiu-Jitsu in Bristol, Tennessee. I've been training for Absolute Jiu-Jitsu for about three years now. My name's Lynn Cook. I'm a mixed martial arts fighter from Absolute Jiu-Jitsu. I've got a 5-0 record. I've been training in Absolute Jiu-Jitsu for a little over a year and a half. We're a little more technical based than I think a lot of gyms are. We spend a lot of time bringing in a lot of good guys here to, to teach. Uh, UFC stars like Kenny Florian, uh, Hoist Gracie, UFC trainers like Eddie Bravo, Mark Lehman, uh, Scott Einstein, prob probably too many to mention, have, have been here to share their techniques with us. Uh, I've traveled a lot throughout the years too, trying to expand uh, the, the game and the technique and, and my knowledge here. We have about 17 mixed martial arts fighters right now and probably about in the upper 30s as far as our jiu Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and submission wrestling team goes. My specialty is uh, wrestling. I've had uh, I've wrestled since I was uh, a third grader in high school and, a little, and wrestled in college a little bit, so that's pretty much my base, my home. And then Jiu-Jitsu and Muay Thai came along down the road with me. My most memorable fight was back uh, about a year ago when I fought at heavyweight. I was weighed about 240 pounds and uh, I beat the defending champion out of the ruckus in the cage uh, by, by strikes, he TKO just strikes. And then also that memorable time, uh, I'd also decided I didn't want to fight heavyweight no more, so I decided to cut to 170 pounds. And it's the best thing I ever did. I, I don't know about disrespected. There's a lot of tough guys that come from East Tennessee. I think maybe compared to some of the bigger cities like Orlando or Miami or someplace, maybe uh, most of the gyms are a little behind. Uh, technique wise but there's some like tough humans that come from this area maybe even tougher than a lot of those bigger cities um, sometimes it's tough to teach that teach heart and you see some guys here they're ready to throw down I, I love to fight anywhere standing or on the ground it doesn't matter to me I have no specialty I try to consider myself a well-rounded fighter training at absolute jiu-jitsu I've learned to have no ego when it comes to training or fighting my first fight was my most memorable because I put the guy to sleep in 58 seconds via rear naked choke. I love to fight people from other places because I want to prove to everyone that even us boys in backwoods Tennessee can hold our own with the big leagues. My next fight's coming up in uh, May 21st and, um, and it's, I'll be making my pro debut that time um, at Freedom Hall in Johnson City. Um, I'm really excited. I finished uh, I was told if I won my last fight last Thursday, I would get to go pro, and I won, and I'm excited to start a new career at, uh, in the pro league. Well, Cage Brawl's only done one show, and it was at the Meadowview Convention Center. It was a very nice venue, very nice show. Uh, one of the better ones, for sure, that I've seen around here. They spent a lot of time putting this show together. It was, it was very nice. We were happy after we competed on the the show. Sometimes you never know with a first time show, you know, how it's really going to turn out. And I was, I was really surprised it turned out well. And I fought in Cage Brawl 1 and won with a guillotine choke in the first round. I think Cage Brawl was a really good atmosphere to fight in because it was a good environment, good crowd, a real professional show. Everybody did great and the fights were very entertaining. I fought in the first Cage Brawl back in. Um, I think it was uh, February, and uh, I won by a Darsh Choke, and uh, I liked how Cage Brawl represented the fighters, treated the fighters, and uh, it's a real good show for people to go and watch. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited about the next Cage Brawl. Um, our team's always looking to compete and showcase our skills and, and be competitive, so uh, this gives us a good opportunity to, to do that, get out in front of everybody and compete. Cage Brawl 1 was a kick-ass show. Cage Brawl 2 is going to blow it out of the water, man.